On my channel, we've looked at quite a few different homes, from your standard New York apartment, to a prefab house built in a factory, to a house on the water. And today we are continuing the series of looking at more unique homes. I'm taking you guys up to Northern California to a place called Grass Valley to explore this roundhouse. So I actually found this house when I was just poking around on Airbnb, I came across this unique stays filter. It had all kinds of stuff, tree houses, a cave, an earth house. Like, I don't even know what that is. I came across dome house though. I thought that looked super interesting. And that is how we landed on this house. So round houses, sometimes called dome houses of all different types have been around for centuries. They can achieve the same square footage as a traditional house using fewer materials for the walls, floor and roof. They are a bit unconventional though and can sometimes feel like a cabin, which is why they're more often vacation homes than primary residences. So let's take a full tour of this roundhouse. It's $200 a night on Airbnb and can sleep 11 people, which is pretty impressive. So this particular Airbnb was situated on a really large plot of land with a lot of greenery around it. The house has huge windows, so you're really opened to the outside. The outside of the house looks similar to a cabin. It's understated and it actually doesn't look all that big. As you enter, it's a bit surprising how big this house actually feels. It has a really large living area, a loft, two separate bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's decorated in a way that feels very homey. It's not your typical cookie cutter Airbnb with just Ikea furniture. It actually does feel like someone might live here. So this is the inside of the dome house. As you can see, it's this really just big hut. You have this big, great room, huge ceilings. It actually does feel a lot bigger on the inside than you would think when you're looking from the outside. So over here, they just got this couch sitting area. There's no TV in here. You're forced to just look out into nature, which is super nice. I really like the mid-century coffee table they went with. It looks really cool. But yeah, just a good little living area gathering space. It all kind of blends into one, but I like how they blocked off these areas. So they also have a telescope because at night you can see the stars really well, even without the telescope. Over here is the kitchen. They have a full kitchen, dishwasher, oven, stove, everything you need. So we've been making food as we've been staying here. Sometimes with these alternative living houses, they don't go with a full kitchen. They just have like a smaller oven, smaller, maybe not even a dishwasher, but this one's got the full thing, which is super nice. They also have this exposed beam throughout, which is just really cool. It just feels authentic to the house. It feels a little different. And I love the ceiling, how it has the wood going through almost like a sunburst with the recessed lighting. It looks so cool. I also love how the kitchen has a window looking out so you can be making food, but you're looking out into this beautiful view. It just, the whole house kind of brings you out into nature. And then over here we have the dining area. There's enough space for six people. This Airbnb actually sleeps 11, which is kind of crazy. I think comfortably it's more like six, but you could, you could fit 11 people in here if you wanted. Um, but I think six is more realistic to be honest and so they have enough space for six people to sit, eat, or play some of the games that they have in this cabinet. So they've got Life, they've got Monopoly, one of my favorites, you know, they've got some crayons, you, you could get artsy in here. And they don't have any TVs, so you really like can unplug, play these games, connect with each other, you know. And then of course you can't miss the staircase. It's such a statement bold piece. I like how they went with this instead of just a ladder or something like that. It does feel a little bit um, almost like plastic. I, I think it's okay, so let's go upstairs. So up in this loft area, it's really used as just a sleeping area with multiple beds. Okay, so here is the loft. As you can see, they kind of use it to just stuff a bunch of beds in. I mean, it makes sense, it's an Airbnb. This is how it can sleep 11. This is definitely a, like a queen or a king and a couple full beds. Maybe this is a queen too even. But yeah, there's actually quite a lot of space up here so you really can fit a lot of people. You know, they didn't go for it and make it some interior design masterpiece. You know, they just kind of 
made it work, but I think it's okay. When you're up here, it just, your eye just is drawn to the sky. It's so cool, so unique. I've never stayed in an Airbnb quite like this. It's really cool how they have a skylight, so you just have this sunlight streaming in at all times of day. It feels super bright in here. Then over here, we have the bedrooms. So there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms, aside from the loft in here. So here's the first bedroom. It's got a queen bed. It also has a little dresser, closet situation here. Extra blankets, just things like that. But it's a great little bedroom. Love the exposed beams here. I think they look so good. Then across the way, there's a bathroom. This is the main bathroom of the house. It's a full bathroom with a shower, bathtub, toilet, and sink. And then just down the hall, we have the master bedroom. So here is the other bedroom. This one's a little bit bigger and it has a connected bathroom, which is pretty cool. Again, it has the exposed beams up here and the decor really feels like someone's home. It doesn't feel like one of those Airbnbs where they just bought the cheapest stuff from Ikea and threw it in. It really feels styled as if, you know, someone cares about this place, has their own artwork that they like and care about, which is actually really refreshing. A lot of Airbnbs are not like that these days, so I really like that. It feels very homey. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It is really bright. They have not only a shower, but also a clawfoot tub, which is a really cool addition, and you can look out onto the trees. It's very light and bright in here. Um, I will say this chair is a little creepy. That's probably the only thing in the house that I don't get, I don't get it. Why is there a chair in here? Anyway, <laughs> um, one thing that's kind of funny, the toilet is going into a corner. Since it's a round house, you know, things aren't gonna fit so traditionally, so it's kind of interesting. It's a little awkwardly in there, but it works. I mean, who really cares? The house is sick, so we can forgive. They have a really unique curtain rod, so this kind of looks like a DIY project, but in a cool way. So they've taken these pipes that I'm sure you can get all this stuff at Lowe's or something. So they kind of mix match the metal. It's homemade, but in a way that really fits the style of the house and I think looks really cool. They did the same thing with the washer and dryer, kind of to hide it. I think this is a great little fix, you know? You don't see it, but, and honestly, this is a super nice washer and dryer. Um, so great that they have all this here. So while the house is pretty cool, I really liked the house. What's even cooler is the outdoor space. There's a wraparound deck and there really aren't neighbors close by. So we could eat outside, play music pretty loudly. To be honest, like we were playing the music pretty loud. There's actually also a hot tub, but I forgot to get footage of it. And just a really nice view. It was very peaceful out here. I wasn't familiar with Grass Valley, but this area is actually really close to Lake Tahoe. So the train is very similar. It's very woodsy. It doesn't feel anything like Southern California, which I found to be very refreshing. The property itself is actually really large. I saw some deer, some different kinds of birds. There's a pathway you can run on or just go for a little walk all the way over to this little waterfall and pond. They encourage you to, you know, check it out, but you can't actually swim in this, nor would you want to. I mean, it doesn't look so appealing for swimming, but it is really cool that this is here. I mean, what? how many Airbnbs can say they have a waterfall on the property? Main road. I'm just gonna explore down there. It's funny, from the outside, you wouldn't think it's as big as it is inside. Like, that doesn't look like a two bedroom home with a law. Here, the waterfall, and I see kind of a path to go to it. Wow, this is so cool. So here's the waterfall, and there's this whole kind of pond with a little dock, another house. Here's the dome house from below here, it looks pretty cool. So that was definitely unique. There were a lot of things about this property that made it feel like a destination all in its own. You didn't really need to leave the house to have a good time. We spent all of our time here and it was really fun. So that is the tour of this dome house. I think it's so cool. I've stayed here one night so far and it's so nice. Like you can hear a waterfall streaming outside. It actually wasn't that expensive. I think it was less than $200 a night for, it could fit 11 people, like kind of insane. So I think this is probably one of the coolest, most unique Airbnbs in Northern California. If you guys want to check it out or stay in it, I'll link it down below. I'll also have my Airbnb referral code. If you've never used Airbnb, you get $40 off the first time you use it. 
So check that out. Um, yeah, but other than that, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos, check out the one I did about the prefab home and the $600 per month boat and stay tuned for next week because we're actually going to take a look at this incredible shipping container home. So get excited because it was really cool and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so that you don't miss it.